Well, good morning, friends. Today's graduation day. We're going to move them from the from their brooder all the way over to their hutch to their new house. We'll be right back. <laughs> This video, part three of six, the hutch, raising quail, part three. Well, welcome back. Today's the big day, 18 days, and they've been off of the, uh, the heat lamp for four days now. So they're accustomed to not having the heat. So I got them off the heat and they're doing great. They're fully feathered out, they're eating well, they're putting on weight, they're growing, they're trying to fly. So they're trying to fly so much, in fact, that I have to make sure that I be careful when I open the, the lid to the brooder, they try to fly out. Sometimes they do and I have to catch them and put them back. But today they're moving from the brooder to their new home, the hutch. So um, they're gonna enjoy that because they get to experience the sandbox and uh, a different surrounding and they get a little bit more room. So. Um, it's a good day for them. So let me take about five or six birds at a time. I'm going to put them in the little transfer cage. This is nothing but just a little pet carrier we got and it'll do great just to take them from the brooder room over to the hutch in the, in the quail pen. So I don't want to put too many in there at once. They start to hurt each other and get them some all stressed out. So we'll take it real slow, take five or six at a time and introduce them, introduce them to the, uh, to the hutch. So my, my beautiful assistant, she's going to be the lid operator and I'm going to be the, the coil grabber. So here we go. There's a first volunteer. See how big they're getting? See, see how big they've gotten? They're pretty big now. A handful. Okay, well, here's six. Okay. okay. Let's take them over and introduce them to the hutch. Let's see you over there. Bing, bing. You can't have these little birdies. The worst predator on our homestead is right there. Okay, let's go get another batch. Well, we had to put the hunter killer outside. He, he can't stand it. He wants these things so bad. All right, let's put in the next batch. That's it. One more. Well, it looks like they've taken to the sandbox with no problem whatsoever. It's just something else God has uh, hardwired them to do is to play in the sandbox and dust themselves off to protect themselves from mites. So I'm gonna take the little piece of two by six here off that blocks their little door and let's see what they do about coming on out here and discovering their food and their water. I'll probably have to help them out. Right, there we go. if I can put a couple out there 
Maybe the rest will go on out. Oh, they don't want to leave that sandbox. <laughs> they love the sandbox. Go on out. Go on out there. Go on out there. See, they don't really know what to do. Let's put them out there. Once one figures out where the food is, the rest of them will follow in there. Let's see if I can get a couple of them to learn it. Let me put one over where the food is and one where the water is and see if they can, see if somebody will learn how to do it. There's some water right there. Beak in there. There you go. That's the water. Okay. I think they just need some time to relax and uh, get used to the new surroundings and they'll discover that food and that water real quick. Right now they can't get their mind off the sandbox. <laughs> Well, our quail's been in the, the hutch out here for uh, three weeks and two days. I hope you can hear me. It's pouring down rain out here, and this tin roof over the barn really makes a lot of racket. But uh, the quails are doing fantastic. They love the hutch. They're very healthy. They're growing extremely rapidly, putting on some good weight. They're going to be some real good meat makers. So I thought you might want to take a look at them up close and just see how much they've changed just in the past three weeks. Come on up. Well, here they are up close. They're all enjoying uh, a little bit of lunch I just gave them. I just got through doing the uh, cleaning out the cage, so they're really happy. As you can see, they've really grown and put on some good weight. This is a pretty little girl right here. You can hear her trying to do some cheap chirping. She don't like me holding her. But anyway, they've put on a lot of weight and they're doing really well. They're, the, the roosters are starting to crow a little bit and they're also starting to fight so that means I need to um, separate them out into um, you know the correct ratio from uh, roosters to hens uh, I like to get one rooster for every four hens so I'll cull them out and I'll uh, get the right ratio here and um, they should be a lot happier uh, I've got the inside of the um, quail hutch cleaned out their little inside area and they, they usually love getting in that sandbox after I clean it. Let's take a look inside. enjoyed watching our little quail journey with us today. Be sure to stay tuned for part four when we uh, separate the flock out and I call out some of them roosters and get that ratio correct and then uh, we'll be looking forward to them first few eggs. So we're thankful for the Lord for these beautiful quail and also for this beautiful rain that he's given us today on our land. So until uh, me and Nancy see you next time in part four, always remember by his hands we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen.
thank you for watching our videos. We love making them. If you like our videos, we ask you to partner with us in our mission by sharing our videos from YouTube and posts from Facebook to all social medias. It really inspires and encourages us. Some great places to share is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please like if you like this video, subscribe, click the notification button so you never miss another video. Click below for products we used in the videos and you could also partner with us without spending a penny. We welcome your encouraging comments, prayers and questions. And thank you for watching and sharing our videos and posts. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching our videos. We love making them. If you like our videos, we ask you to partner with us in our mission by sharing our videos from YouTube and posts from Facebook to all social medias. It really inspires and encourages us. Some great places to share is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please like if you like this video, subscribe, click the notification button so you never miss another video. Click below for products we used in the videos and you could also partner with us without spending a penny. We welcome your encouraging comments, prayers and questions. And thank you for watching and sharing our videos and posts. Have a blessed day.